Like a lot of you, this current primer shortage has me running low on primers, specifically small pistol primers. But I have been, and still am, pretty flush with large pistol primers. Unfortunately though, I don't compete with any revolvers that use those large pistol primers. And yeah, I have my Schofields, but they don't really love black powder, so I don't use them much for competitive shooting. I mainly use the small pistol primers for my 38 Special Revolver loads and the large pistol primers for my 44 rifle loads. And hopefully you've seen my loading episodes on those calibers. And just in case you have it, I'll link them on screen now in the description box and at the end of this episode. So typically my consumption of primers stays pretty equal. I use about the same amount each of small to large pistol primers. But for some reason, I ended up having considerably more of the large pistol primers rather than the small. Now add to that my large supply of 45 Colt brass and plenty of black powder, and you start to have the makings of this episode. And I say the start because I still need to find some revolvers to feed this ammo to. Thankfully, when one of my local pards heard about this, they quickly offered me this beautiful set of Sass Rugers in 45 Colt to borrow. Although if you've watched this show often enough, you know how that usually turns out for me. So these revolvers are all tricked out and slicked up very much like my 357 Sass Rugers, but these are the five and a half inch barreled 45 Colt models. And they've got some fancy jeweled hammers on them to boot, which is a nice touch. So with these revolvers, I was in business and I quickly got to work mixing up a few different black powder 45 Colt loads to test out and headed to the range. And I'm not gonna share my load data right now because it's still in the experimental phase. Plus, I, I don't want YouTube to demonetize this video, but stay tuned for me to work up a load that I'm comfortable with sharing and I'll do just that. For this episode, I paired these borrowed Rugers with my 20 inch yellow boy and 44 Winchester centerfire and my trusty SKB 12 gauge double barrel shotgun. Then I headed out to Ravensdale, Washington to shoot with the Cascade Ghost Riders. All right, when these Jedi's eyes are smiling. Stand by. Where am I? Uh, three. Ah, beat it. I'll tell you what, yeah. 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 Triple, yep. Tap, yep. triple tap number yep. one. I know you were thinking it. Yep. Two, six. You're going to write down for Jedi. Slick. Two, six, two, eight. One, P. So honestly, I was anticipating that it would take more for me to adapt to these harder loads. I was genuinely surprised on the first stage when things went really well and really smooth. Of course, I probably should have been thinking more about the stage rather than shooting these new revolvers with this new load because I ended up getting lost on this Badger sweep. Where am I? Uh, three. And I got a procedural error. One piece. Which cost me 10 seconds. And don't even ask me how I got lost on that sweep. I've literally done it hundreds of times over the years. I'm just gonna blame the distraction of the new loads. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, everything else functioned great and the load seemed to be hitting right where I was aiming. The recoil, although noticeably more than with my 38s, was manageable as was the smoke, which was also a bit more noticeable than with my 38s. We'll use the force. That was good. 
So that went quite a bit better than the previous stage. So let's take a look at how these revolvers functioned on the last few remaining stages, and then we'll see if this Black Powder 45 Colt revolver load can be competitive in the sport of cowboy action shooting. May the road rise up to meet you, and may the force be with you. Stand by. We good? Yep, you're done. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Something like that. Three zero seven zero. Three zero seven zero. <laughs> That's too dirty to be clean. Right. <laughs> Three zero seven zero. Ah, oh, here's to the health of your enemy's enemy. Stand by. Rifle closed. You're good. Thank you. Nice nice clean. Thank you. Good run. Thanks. Before we wrap up this episode with my final thoughts, I want to take a moment and thank this week's supporters of Jedi TV through www.buymeacoffee.com slash Jedi TV. It really does help keep the channel running, especially on those occasions where YouTube pulls ad revenue from my episodes. It's nice having Buy Me A Coffee as an option for fan-funded support. Now, with that said, my final thoughts for this episode. I really felt like shooting this new revolver load was a fun change. And I like these SAS 45 Colt revolvers too. The weight and the balance felt really good to me. And frankly, I was genuinely surprised at the fact that the 45 Colt load really didn't seem to slow me down all that much, if at all. There was definitely more smoke and certainly more felt recoil with that 200 grain bullet, but it really didn't change where I placed overall at the match. I ended up seventh out of 22 shooters and without that procedural error, which I obviously can't blame on the revolvers or their caliber, I would have finished in sixth place. So it looks like I'm gonna have to find a pair of competitive 45 Colt revolvers to add to my collection. You did see that coming, right? Let me know down in the comment section and let me know what you thought of these revolvers, the stages, and 45 Colt in general down in the comment section as well. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. <laughs>